All right, guys, today's video is going to be another update on the last XP map we did because on my last upload, as a couple people in the comments pointed out, I did forget a crucial step. So I'm going to re-upload that for you guys today so you guys have all the proper steps. And if I see any other new maps pop up, I'm also going to be throwing those up today. But with that out of the way, we are going to get into the game library here and we're going to go to the island code. And you should see this typed in here. And one thing I do want to show you is if you type in the code like normal, as a lot of you commented, it's a different version of the map. It is version 115. All you have to do if you're on PC is type in V113 and you should get that to open up in the version 113 with the XP still active. So you're going to press play, change the game to private, and then we'll be good to go. All right, guys, now that we're in the map, I'm going to make this quick and easy for you. All you have to do is run up to the supported creator tower here, stand on the black line and do any emote, and you should see a prop gun pop up. Once you get that problematic, all you have to do is run over to this corner of the building, go behind these gold vending machines. And you should see a little stack of cars on the ground that you can hit with the problematic gun. Go ahead and do that and it will turn you into the little, you know, little set of cars. After that, all you have to do is run over here where we started, go past the creator tower. And we're going to go right through these double pumps here, but you have to be careful. You just want to inch off, just barely go off the ledge here, and you should land on that platform. And once you land on that platform and take damage, you're going to be able to sneak in here and interact with the problematic teleporter. Now that you find yourself in this room, you can exit the car, shape, you know, shape shift, and get ready to enter the code. It will be locked out for 10 minutes, but as soon as this 10 minute timer ends, we can enter in the code and we can get going with the video. All right, guys, after you've waited your 10 minutes, you are good to enter the code. You're gonna enter the code 452, just like this on the screen. Four. Just like that 452, you should be able to look to the right, click that confirm button, and it should flash at the top of your screen, meaning you entered it correctly. So now the very first thing after you do that is just look down, hit the start AFK XP button, and after you type in that password, this should pop up. Begin that XP, and that's going to continuously run the entire time we are in the map. Now the very first step, all you have to do to get this XP is pick up this glider and pick up this sniper. And you're going to look directly down here. And the very first XP glitch is going to be just shooting this uh, target dummy in the head. So go ahead and shoot that guy right there. And once he goes down, you're going to see thousands on thousands of XP come through right away. And just like that, we got our first level up of the match. And we're already halfway through level 308. So that is actually crazy. And there's another 30,000 just like that. We've already reached 70,000, so leave a like if this map is helpful. All right, guys, let's move on to the next glitch. So the next one is just as easy. All you have to do is look to the building way over there in the corner to the far right. Should see another target dummy that we can shoot, and you should get the XP rolling in right after. Alright guys, looks like we just pulled up on 90,000 and it looks to still be going, but now we're going to move on to the next few glitches on the map. So with this glider item you picked up, you are going to be able to jump down, and we're going to glide to that very first meteor that you see right there. I'm going to go ahead and mark it, and we're going to jump to it. And once you land on this rock, you should be able to look down into this corner and see the XP glitch number 3. Click on that, and we'll wait for that XP to finish. Alright guys, that is going to continue to run for us, but just to speed the video along, I am going to keep moving on to the next glitches for you guys. But leave a like if you do enjoy this faster, smoother form of XP glitch video. We're already pulling up on 110,000, now let's see what else we can get out of this. Now the very next glitch is going to be that pink tree right there, so it's pretty easy to find. Look to the left of the last XP spot, and we're going to jump to that pink tree. So go ahead and glide down there, and we'll see you when we get there. Alright, once we make it on top of the tree, I messed up, I'm gonna have to get up there somehow, there we go. Just look towards the castle and you're gonna instantly see that secret XP button, click on that. And as you can probably tell by now, the XP is gonna go down as you go through these buttons. The very first two buttons are gonna give you the most, because if every single glitch gave that much XP, these maps would be removed immediately. But either way, thank you for watching this video so far. If you've made it this far, leave a like and comment how much XP you've gotten so far. But now for the very next XP glitch, it's going to be just as easy. We're actually going to fly not to that pink tree over there, but we're going to go to the castle right next to it. So mark that pink tree or mark that tower. We're going to fly all the way over there. 
Alright guys, now that you've made it here, if you have noticed, my XP did reset because I fell and I had to respawn and get all the way back over here, so sorry about that. But the next XP glitch is going to be in the corner over here. Go ahead and interact with that XP button and we will get teleported back to the top for the third or fourth time. And we will be able to show you where the final glitches are. Alright guys, as you can see, even on the last XP glitch of the map, it still pulled an easy 20,000 just for clicking one button. And now I get to show you where the never-ending AFK XP boost buttons are. And that's just going to keep the XP going for longer while you're AFK in the final AFK method I have to show you over there. So what you want to do now, as long as you still have some glider slots, is jump all the way down and land on this middle rock here, okay? So there's one rock on the edge and one building here. You want to land on the rock that's in the middle. And this is where we're going to find the AFK boost XP buttons. So if you stand here, you're going to run over here to this corner and look kind of downward and you should see never ending AFK XP boost. Now in order, you want to go from left to right and click three buttons this way. And then you're going to go to a fourth button that says rift and that's going to be somewhere right here. It's going to be that fourth button onto the edge. It adds rift because it is going to teleport you back to the beginning. That is the one that you want to wait until the very end to push. That way you get the most amount of XP possible. Now once you're in here, all you have to do is bounce around. As long as you're in this room bouncing on the crash pad, you will be continuing to get AFK XP. You can leave it on auto run if you'd like. I don't know if that makes a difference, but just keep bouncing here until you are done getting AXP or until the game stops you from getting XP. But I do want to thank you so much for watching this video again. I do apologize for messing up the last time I uploaded it, but from now on, we will make sure not to make any mistakes like that. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe with the notifications on, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.